You know, everybody has their opinion about stuff. I mean, the lady from Spin called us extraterrestrial sewer workers, whatever the fuck that is. I'll, maybe there's a few songs here and there that have a little bit of metal in them. I mean, we play Crushed in the Maniac because we wrote it. And Seekers of the Truth, other than that, it's pretty much punk rock shit. Uh, cro from stage diving. If you can't beat them, James Brown them, then some short and sweet to end with. People coming to the show, being part of the show, is what makes a hardcore punk show not 20 feet behind a barricade. And Henry Rollins, who I go way back with to 1980 from the DC hardcore scene, said something tremendous, and I'll never forget it. He said, you know, when we got into this, it was because the bands were accessible. It was like before you had to worship the, the rock stars like they were gods on this high stage way in the back. And now it's like, you know, fucking HRs jumping off the stage, fucking knocking you to the floor, screaming in your face. And Henry was like, I knew I was going to do this for the rest of my life. So that's, uh, we prefer these kinds of shows, man. Probably like the rugby game without the ball and a band in the middle of it. The mandatory record, I feel, any hardcore person, kid, whatever, coming up now is uh, the Bad Brains Raw cassette that came out in 82. I was there when they recorded the whole album. I was working with him, living with him at 171 a phenomenal. I'll even add a B part to that. And that is, if you want to see how shit used to be and how it should be done, go on YouTube, put in Bad Brain CBGB's 1982. That room is packed and we're getting ready to throw it the fuck down. Peace and veggie grease from New York City. Yeah,